This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by HostGator. Coming up, it's time once again to decide which are our favorite movies in Versus. Totally Rad Show. Here we are in Versus. Wow, so excited and loud. Go, go to the, <laughs> we go to the website, flickchart.com, are given two movie posters. We are have not to decide posters. the con- whole name. concept of the movie. They show us the posters. They do, but it's, we're not judging based on poster. Well, maybe we should. <laughs> no. Um, and uh, wouldn't it be so if one guy's interpretation is just, <laughs> just like post- which poster uh, he likes? Poster. That's really a much nice. better poster. Uh, all, so it's we true, create true, a true, list you of, say yes. so picking a movie out of those two, we create a list of our favorite movies of all time, as well as a list of shame movies that one of us or I have, have not seen. We've been doing this a while. Been doing this yeah. a while. We've got a pretty robust list you can robust check list. out if you want. Yeah, we should. Yeah, versus.com or what is it? Flickchart.com slash Totally Rad Show to see our list. Where we're at. Yeah. So let's far. do it. You ready to go? Ready to go. There we go. First one. Versus. Signs versus yeah. Amelie. Signs. Sign, sign, I've uh, never saw sign. Amelie. Oh, it's great. It's Amelie great. is. Oh no no no! Amelie. Charlie. I thought Amelie was the one about the slaves in the ship. Amistad. <laughs> I've, I've seen Amelie. I've seen Amelie. So this is a tough one. I like Amelie a lot. It, Amelie it'd be was tough great. If I, if I didn't think Signs is one of the greatest movies of all time, okay, it would be tough. Yeah, that, I that, don't think that, but I like Signs a lot yeah. too. I'm gonna pick Signs as well, but I like Amelie. It's charming and fun. I'm gonna go with Amelie. Oh, I, I think Amelie. Amelie is a better but, movie, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I like Signs. It was good. Yeah, my favorite. I like signs a lot. What was that? Not right, right. Not right. my favorite. Both of those movies have fantastic scores as well. That would have been a tough Ooh. flick chart. Shock a lot. Uh, Gremlins. Yes. Versus Being John Malkovich. Being Gremlins. John Malkovich. Gremlins. Really? What? Gremlins is freaking Gremlins. I, I love Gremlins, but Being John Malkovich is a work of art. Well, so Gre- Gre- Gremlins is a work of art, dude. Yeah, dude. Gremlins is fun. Mogwai? Gremlins is fun escapism and fun and, and it informed my childhood. Was, yes. Was, what is Raiders of the Lost Ark? What is Raiders of the Lost Star? Fun escapism, right? You can minimize it that way, but it's. But you're saying Raiders of the Lost Ark is as good as Gremlins? No, I mean, so don't be, be don't be, don't, don't yeah. lose relativism. <laughs> yeah. You know? All right, all right. Well, anyway, no, the I answer is Gremlins. I love Gremlins. Ah. Uh, Bing John Malkovich is superior. It's a cool movie. Far it's cool. superior. It's. I didn't love it. Brilliant. It's good. Not a fact. Casino Royale versus Ooh. American Pie no, no, it's 2. I've never seen, seen American Pie 2. Well, and I, I don't know if I've actually no seen it. No plans to. I've never seen the first American Pie. What? what? You know that. We've discussed it. Oh my god. I, I have like no I desire to that. see any of the American, American Pie. American Pie 1 is actually yeah, quite American good. Pie's no. got uh, what was American Pie 2 about? Things. I don't care. More pie. Yeah. 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 And more mm-hmm. Americans. Uh, Casino Royale versus Pirates of the Caribbean. The purse. The, the purse. Curse of Black the purse. The curse of the, of the, of the Black so the first, Pearl. The purse of the gl- the Black first Pearl. Pirates, <laughs> the, the best <laughs> first. The best Pirates, pirates of the versus the best Bond movie. <laughs> Or of that. What one. happened? What'd the you say? Purse of the Black Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, I, snor- I just snorted a little bit. Casino Royale. Casino Royale. We yeah, get that a lot Royale. though. I know. We get Christina the same freaking six movies. Um, hot Fuzz oh, that's not versus hot. The Untouchables. The Untouchables. Yeah, Untouchables. Untouchables, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Hot Fuzz is really good. I went back and saw it again. I do need to see it again. Really good. They kill when one you of yours. You kill two you, of theirs. That's you the you Chicago way. When you don't have the desire for it to be as amazing and mind-blowing and, and unique as Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. And you're just like, I hope this is a good movie. Right. It's a freaking amazing movie. That's gotcha. no Untouchables. Uh, no, no, but that's why I chose Untouchables. Yeah. But Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King versus District 9. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it just got real. Peter Jackson affairs. It got real. If I hadn't just seen uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy recently, yeah. I definitely would have said District 9, 100%. Right, because you were stupid the first time you watched Lord of the Rings. You didn't realize how smart. amazing it is. Yeah, yeah, it definitely affected and me Return so much And Return of the more. King is, in my opinion, the best of the three. And it is the best of the three. There you go. My opinion I is correct. I like Fellowship more, but it's very good. And I have no idea what to pick on this one. I know, because District I think 9 I'm go is Lord of the District Rings, 9. Actually, District 9 is so. Fun. You know what? Here's the thing. Go I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Lord of the Rings: Return yeah, of the King I'll, I'll because of what Lord of the Rings brought to the table. 
You know what I mean? The whole scope of that series, d shooting 14 months straight, doing a trilogy of that caliber, the yeah. amount of, you know what I mean? And realizing- District 9's a great movie, but- Realizing a work of, of literature that, that had people never didn't think really, you could ever make it to exactly. a movie. Exactly. Yeah. So, Unshootable. But District 9, very good, we all know that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's really king. Okay. Transformers yeah. versus Vanilla Sky. Transformers. Transformers. Vanilla Easy. Sky. Did you like Vanilla Sky? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, train <coughs> spotting versus space balls. Space balls. Go with the guy. I gotta go with space balls. Yeah, no, I gotta go with I space just balls. No, you just did it. Because train spotting. Like, train spotting is awesome. Rocked I know. My world I know. When I saw it. But space balls is space balls. I mean, space balls. I know, my but... favorite of the Mel Brooks movies. I might have to actually. Pizza Hut. You can't change it. I jumped on the train with you. I'm gonna go train spotting. You can't jump off the train. I jump. Literally, what happened is the train was whizzing by, and Dan it's went, "Let's go, time. let's go," Started and it. jumped, and uh -huh. I jumped, and then all of a sudden I looked. I was like, "Isn't this great? Where's Dan?" Yeah. Oh, I, I thought it was too not safe. <laughs> it's like what? train spotting is my answer. What did you say? I'm gonna stick with space balls. Ooh, deciding. Uh, space balls is my favorite Mel, Gip Gip Mel, Mel Gibson movie. <laughs> and me too. Chase Bunny? Uh, yeah, Chase Bunny. Spaceballs is wonderful. Okay, and, at least and I'm on the it. record of saying Spaceballs. That's escape. It's, it's escapism, really. <laughs> uh, Lost in Translation mm -hmm. versus Home Alone 2. Lost, Lost in, in Translation. translation. <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, potential subtitle for Home Alone 2. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Shrek 2 versus Dances with Wolves. Dances, Dances with, wolves. with Wolves. No offense to Shrek 2, but. <laughs> Shrek, two, Shrek 2 is like. What they're throwing a boot? <laughs> no, no, I didn't check too, but Tatanka. But Tatanka. Uh, Fargo versus Train Spotting. Fargo. Mm. Finally. Fargo. Fargo for me has come. I'm gonna go Fargo. Yeah. I mean, or, yeah. Fargo. I always say Fargo. Great, but I've never like known to take it, take get mm. out of that. Don't be pregnant in Fargo, Minnesota. Mm. Or no, uh, I'm still with train spotting. Easy. Fairly easy for I'm me. I'm still with train spotting for sure. Fargo won, but, but I that's didn't fine. Know. But I'm firm in my train spotting. Okay, we'll see. Good thing I picked it over space balls because then you just like <laughs> when I did it, when I picked space balls over train spotting, and I picked train spotting over Fargo. I would have had an issue. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Man's Chest versus yeah. uh, the newest Star Trek. Newest to the Star newest Trek. Star the Trek, newest please, of the Star for five thousand. <laughs> Uh, the newest of the Star what is Trek. Signs Abrams. once again versus mm -hmm. The Departed? Signs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Where uh, were you, Jeff? I thought we coordinated right. before. <laughs> you guys didn't count. Star Wars versus Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Which Star, Star Wars? Wars? The First original? Star Wars. It's crazy. New Hope versus Who New Framed Hope? Roger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars. Well, there's like 17 Star Wars. I, I, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some people that love Who Framed I know a lot of people Dana. that hate Star Wars. Hope. No. I know a lot of people that are like Inside Man versus American Beauty. American Beauty. Mm. Which one was Inside Man? Denzel Spike Washington. Denzel Washington. Spike Lee Joint. Clive and, uh, Owen. Clive Owen. And, Clive Owen. I'm yeah. gonna go Inside Man because I was not a big American. Oh, Beauty American fan. Beauty! You gotta, you yeah. gotta have my back there. Yeah, no, I'm going American Beauty. Thank but Inside you. Man's freaking dead. Yeah. I'm not a big American Beauty fan. The Born Identity. I rule. Versus the Princess Bride. Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. Princess Bride. Yeah. <laughs> I will shout you down. That's not a line from the movie, I just will shout you down. <laughs> oh, alright. Catch Me If You Can versus Apollo 13. Catch Apollo me if you can. 13. Apollo 13. Oof. Catch Me If You Can? You've been misstep. a big fan? Misstep. I really like it. I, I don't really like Apollo 13 that much. I love Apollo 13. Me too. And Catch Me If You Can is good, and I sometimes I'll watch it when I'm on, but... It's definitely a movie you, you could put on any scene and you'll oh, yeah. like, be like, gripped. Big versus Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, big. Versus small. <laughs> big versus small. William okay. Shakespeare's Romeo plus Juliet. Oh, it's boy. always popping up on the Bas list. Baz Luhrmann. Julieta. Versus Batman Forever. Batman, Batman Forever. Whoa, no, no, I don't know. They're both bad. No, Batman no, Forever is at least, Batman Forever. Forever? Yeah, Forever at least to have a little bit of like what? Arnold Schwarzenegger as Iceman. No, nope. that's Batman and Robin. Batman, Batman Forever, Forever is Val Kilmer and uh, Tommy Lee Jones and, Jim and Carrey. Nicole Kidman. Jim Oh game. boy, that now that is a decision. Yeah. No, I, I thought I thought this Roman and Juliet is is cool. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I'm going uh, with that that as well. cool. I thought it's yeah, it is so, definitely cooler than the Val Kilmer I mean, Batman. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm odd how much that, that movie but. comes up in this as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chicken Run versus Ooh. Finding Nemo. I've never Finding seen Chicken Nemo. Run. Oh, Chicken Run is great. Never seen Chicken Run. You mm -hmm. should watch it. That's it's the great. one with Mel Gibson, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can say that. Yes, it is, but I mean, it's not like. <laughs> but that's the only. I mean, yeah. I don't. I it's remember a, it was the animated thing about chicken that had Wallace and Gromit guy. Yeah. Stop Matt. Yeah. Stop motion. Right. Wonderful movie. King Kong versus Finding Nemo. Which one? The, the most recent 
King Kong. Finding yeah, Nemo. Finding Nemo, Nemo, obviously. Well, uh, it could have been King Kong. Pulp Fiction versus the 40 year old virgin. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Uh, I'm nice. actually going to go 40 year old virgin. I mean, I like Pulp Fiction, but. Really? Yeah, I didn't uh, enjoy it. The first time I watched it, I was like not in the right headspace, and I was like, this is not cool. Oh, so and then I've watched it recently, and I'm like, oh, I, get, I, I get it, I guess, but. 40 year old virgin, dude, when the first time I, I saw it, I've seen Pulp Fiction splitting my sides. Times. Mm. There's something about Mary versus Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Baby. I'm gonna go there's something about Mary. You know I love Million Dollar Baby. Something but about you're Mary. Gonna go with something I'm gonna go with something about Mary. About Mary. Oh, that was a, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That was a. I mean, I know it's escapism, Jeff. But, <laughs> but that's. I mean, I don't remember that. Yeah. I, I, saw, I saw my girlfriend and her, and her little brother. And I felt really bad for bringing her little brother to it because he definitely asked what what was with the hair. He was like, "What was that?" I didn't get that joke, you know. And You're she's like, like looking at me to explain. That's man, scene. <laughs> um, but you ever seen I remember the laughing. Bro? So I don't. You guys know, like, what I'm gonna do to your older sister later. You know that I don't really laugh that much. Yeah, when I yeah, go to yeah, movies. yeah, yeah. I was uproarious. I couldn't believe. Yeah. And you didn't laugh during Million Dollar Baby? <laughs> Not once. That's weird. Um, yeah, I remember I, I just couldn't believe how funny it was. Well, yeah. I, like, I was like, is that really that that really existing right now? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. Above the beans? Yeah. The I mean, that, how'd you get the Frank And above that, the that, that was <laughs> a, that's a, that was a cinema, that was a movement in yeah. common. I mean, like, that yeah, was a major. Things. This is good. But Million Dollar Baby is still better. Still better. Nah. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon versus Almost Famous. Almost. Crouching Tiger. You know, I revisited Crouching Tiger recently. I was Crouching Tiger, Ray. yeah. And uh, boy, it, it doesn't stand up in the trees. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Mm. I wish that it did. I loved it when it came out, but <clears throat> in the long view of history, I don't. I don't feel like it does. Interesting. Mm. Did you yeah. read it? All, Almost, Almost Famous. famous? Hmm? Have you I have not. So maybe, I, but I have some fond memories of Almost Famous. Right. You mean like you did with Crouching Tiger <laughs> before you revisited? <laughs> right. There's that. No, I think I, I, you know, I was big into Hong Kong cinema right before Crouching Tiger came out, and I, and while the action, that's the thing for me, Crouching Tiger, is that it actually had a really cool story mm. um, and visuals beyond action crap. The action crap didn't wasn't as titillating for me because I had seen so many yeah. other. So um, for me, I'm the definitely Crouching Tiger. Soundtrack was the best mm. thing that I've ever seen. Wild Wild West. Ooh, Will Smith versus w -W -W. There Will Be Blood. There, there will, will be blood. blood. There boom, will be. Boom, boom. Both set Remember in the Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. Oh yeah. And I finally, the performance of the interview movie. Like. Hot Fuzz versus Gladiator. Uh, ooh. Gladiator. <laughs> I'm gonna go Gladiator. Yeah. I'm gonna go Hot Fuzz. You know. So I, I, I ended on. Like I feel a like sometimes like you Gladiator. don't. You're not really choosing the movie. You just want to dig the other movie. Yeah. You want to out of spite. I do not like you wanna Gladiator. You want to insult Gladiator. I do. But you didn't like Hot Fuzz, as we just. But I didn't. Hate Hot Fuzz. You hate a Gladiator. I, I I thought Hot Fuzz was half a great movie. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm kind of with you. And I, I think Gladi Gladiator is just. You don't think Gladiator has half of a? Maybe a ha I don't know. It maybe a half. I don't see me mad watching. So you're it. you're angry at it. Yeah, I am. You're using Edgar Wright to yeah. slap Ridley Scott in the face. Which is, uh, I'm not the first person to have done. <laughs> That's true. I think I saw <laughs> that MTV uh, Celebrity Deathmatch. <laughs> Man, that's versus baby. That yes. Show? All right. Till next time, see you in the video. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, we want to thank our sponsor, HostGator.com. HostGator can get your blogger website up and running in just minutes with plans starting at just $3.96 a month. That's a super cheap deal. Zoinks. That's a super zoinks. Uh, you get 24-7 support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 custom templates. They'll even migrate your current site over to their site for free. Uh, the servers are 130% powered by wind energy, which is more wind energy than anybody needs, really. <laughs> it's just gaudy. Uh, you get unlimited disk space and bandwidth, 45-day money-back guarantee, plus they'll give you $100 uh, credit for Google AdWords to market your site. Uh, Revision 3 and TRS viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month is completely free. Yowza. Just go to HostGator.com, enter the coupon code when you check out Totally Rad Show, all one word. Do it now. Wind energy. Hey, also, uh, send in your backgrounds. We yep. love getting those backgrounds. You can send them to fans at TotallyRadShow.com and then maybe something you created yes. will be behind us. Yes. Prominently. Prominently. All right, people, we'll see you now. 
Tomorrow, we check out the new TV show, Awake. Today's Twitter question comes from at T. Lazaroff, who asks, nerd, dweeb, geek, preference, difference? Nerd, smart, geek, peculiar, passionate, peculiar interest, dweeb, maybe like annoying, annoyingly, uh, annoyingly antisocial. I don't disagree with any of those. However, yeah. I, this is an issue that I've <laughs> wanted to talk about on the show for a long time. The whole thing of nerd as the new cool, love it. Love that it's we coined it. <laughs> yes, it's on my love head. it. You can buy it. Please do. Uh, <laughs> but here's the thing: when I was a kid, and I and I literally knew that I was a nerd, mm -hmm. I was deathly afraid of that word being spoken. I I was so it hurt me to such a deep place. To anyone would say nerd because I knew I was one, and it and I was ostracized, and it was painful. Like kids don't realize that anymore. I don't think it well, was think such a painful thing for yeah, me. Yeah, but I think what's happened is is that the people who felt that way grew to right. not fear the word anymore, to right. embrace it in a way that's saying like, no, that's fine. You you know what? I don't fear that really, word anymore once, because once I'm able to become a successful person yeah. who has a very hot girlfriend. And it became sexy. Yeah, yeah. girls right. liked that. Yeah. Thanks to I like lots of things like the OC made that cool, you know, like, <laughs> I like that's that, the first thing you so, went to. Well, yeah. I think that's significant, dude. Yeah. That that character, but so now it that it became, but it wasn't it wasn't sexy before. It was the opposite of sexy. Yeah, I mean, it would. Yeah. I, I, it, it was, was a, it was a, it was a derogatory I word. Oh, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it was I don't a, think you guys actually. I wasn't. A, oh, dude. Were picked on. Like, I oh, was. I was. Are you freaking uh, kidding really? me? Really? I, I was every, for all being the way through. I was not for my interests. No, 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 dude. Yeah. There was tons of bullying going on until I got to college. Hmm. That, I mean, that, and was for me, on, it wasn't, yeah. yeah it in was, junior high and elementary, sort of. High school, I wasn't. High school, I didn't, I just didn't, was not that significant. If, like, <laughs> if a TV show said the word nerd, I would, like, break out in a cold sweat because I, I didn't want anyone to like look at me. Hmm. It was I was awful. I know. What awful. You're but I think that now it's not a derogatory that. word. No, anymore. not at all. Now no, it's like now this it's power word. Yeah, yeah, it's like f you guys. We co-opted. Yeah. That's Suck it, bullies. Yeah. Boom. <laughs>